How was it to go into space and come back? As they say, happy landings. You're a test pilot. Yeah. Well, it was uh, extremely exciting at a personal level. Uh, and I have to give you a bit of a background for that. Uh, you see, space was was a new domain, which uh, our generation was lucky enough to to have witnessed, to have been a part of. And I'm I'm alluding to Yuri Gagarin uh, when his flight took off. I mean, the entire globe really was. Uh, captivated by by this kind of activity and uh, initially of course all space flights and there were quite a few some by the americans more, a lot by the russians you know every little detail was uh, reported by the media and it was uh, really uh, consumed by each and every one and and all of us were excited by it but uh, Quite frankly, I never ever dreamt, nor did I aspire to go to space. And, and that is, I consider myself a realist in the sense that our country did not have a space, manned space program at that time. So it would have been futile to, to think that uh, I would go into space. And that should put, I would say, Kalpana Chavla's effort uh, in perspective. She was junior to, to me, but she didn't take no for an answer. She went to the United States, wanted to trade as an astronaut, became one, took part in, uh, in, in space activity. So late Kalpana Chavla, she's the one who really showed the way of how things should be done. As far as I was concerned, it just fell into my lap uh, in the sense that uh, uh, the Soviet Union uh, had offered this flight to Mrs. Gandhi and Mrs. Gandhi checked with ISRO and ISRO said, being the professionals they are, ISRO said that they weren't interested because at that point in time, they were focused solely on the satellite program, which was... Uh, outlined uh, by visionaries like uh, Vikram Sarabhai and Satish Dhawan. And uh, so they didn't want to lose focus, and uh, nor did they at that point have the bandwidth. So, so they said, no, thank you, uh, because of which Mrs. Gandhi offered it to the Indian Air Force. And thankfully, the Indian Air Force grabbed the opportunity. And one thing led to another, and, and there I was. So I didn't aspire for it, but I, I got a shot at it, and I'm thrilled that I did. So those were exciting times. Was it difficult to train as an astronaut? What was difficult was learning the Russian language, primarily <laughs> because the entire training was in Russian. So uh, we, had a, we had a language teacher who didn't know a word of English, and we didn't know a word of Russian, so so there was there was a lot of uh, dumb charades going on initially, but uh, so th so that was the the degree of difficulty increased because of that. 